So who is Deep Tech Dive? Well, we're an organization that ultimately was formed, as its name suggests, to take a deeper dive into tech. Now, it's about looking beyond the data, you know, beyond the kind of spec sheets, beyond the benchmarks, and even beyond the initial impressions, because after all, everyone on the internet is basically doing that already. So I'm actually focused on ownership and what it's truly like to use something as it was intended to be used by the manufacturer because they all have a specific target or focus or user in mind when they design and create a product or service. And so think of it basically as a series of information based on video editorial reviews with an emphasis on explaining what type of problem or even purpose the, the product and the manufacturer is actually trying to address. So we take a look at seeing how they achieve this, if they in fact did, and of course, we have a think about what type of person would this actually suit. So in the day and age where even 15 minutes of fame these days is considered a long time, especially with like the never ending pursuit of media creators chasing viewers, clickbaity videos, there just isn't anything to really kind of sink your teeth into. Does that make sense? And so we wanted to take a look beyond the obvious and take a long format approach to whatever the technology or, or the product that we're actually looking into. So how did I even start? Well, I was actually looking to replace my own HP notebook and Apple MacBook. And I came across a lesser known company called Venom Computers out of Melbourne. I purchased one of their black books and they reached out to me to see if I'd actually be open to, to doing a, a long form segment because they saw one of my previously, uh, previous videos that I put together. And they'd actually seen some success with a longer form piece of content. And when they mentioned it to me, I thought, well, that's a really interesting idea because me too, when I've been make, looking to make a, a purchasing decision, I want to do a detailed dive into the product. I really want to know it back to front because these days it's not so easy to kind of really do that without actually having to buy it. So Venom felt the reviewers they'd reached out to had kind of moved into chasing more and more clicks while actually offering less and less depth. So Venom felt like they actually needed someone to look deeper, basically past that kind of initial sugar rush and, and not consume their efforts like you know, junk food as it were. So, so it seemed the business case ultimately to me was like that it, it made sense that there was a market or potential interest in these deep, deep dives because I just thought it made sense. And it was great that now we're starting to find more and more manufacturers who want a deep dive around their technology so they can see or get a chance to explain how their products, their service, whatever they've designed is actually intended and who it's intended, sorry, who it's intended for. See, I mean, I'm, I'm not the person that I think it really matters what you think of my opinion necessarily. You may not like me, you may not think, or I may not use the product how you're gonna use it. So my opinion is arguably not that meaningful. And so really it comes down to have they delivered on their scope? What was the intended product? And what was the intended outcome? And how well have they met that need? And if you have that need, well, then this is all, whatever the product we're looking at is right for you. Because if you think about it, these companies spend millions, if not billions of dollars developing products. And I don't believe any of them do it just because they're having a crack. You know, that is a really lax understanding from a reviewer market. Um, and really, it's not my job to sit here and dictate how well or well didn't they do it, or whether I like the feel of the metal on the back of the phone. Like, that's kind of crazy to me. What we're here to do is we believe a product, if it's not fit for purpose, we'll let the manufacturer know, but if it is, we'll feature it on here. And we'll actually go through how well and how well it aligns to their scope, their focus, and we'll talk about the energy and the effort they went to to actually, and how they thought about the problem and who they were thinking of when it came to actually the design and who the end user was going to be. Because if you think about it, imagine going to rent an apartment, right? Where you go in and you get about five minutes to walk around. You have a quick look at the, the ceiling, the kitchen, the bathroom, and then all of a sudden you have to rent the house and you have to pay your deposit and then you moved in. 
and you, then you're lying in bed or walking in through the kitchen and you suddenly see in the corner, oh crikey, I had no idea about that. Or, oh the fridge is a bit crap or the floor is broken. It's all that small detail you actually miss in ownership and that's why, to put it simply, my job here is explaining what your manufacturer intended, if they hit the mark, and who would actually benefit from it and why. And I'll mention, you know, what I like most about the products, sure, but they weren't necessarily built for me. And so, after all, ownership, I think, is what matters because you'll crave more and you'll, you'll be looking at something in much more detail when you're actually thinking about buying it and it gives you a chance to see what it's actually gonna be like when it's in your house, in your hands, in your, and you're using it and you're gonna be using it for a lot longer than anyone would normally be reviewing it. And we think that good products deserve more than just a quick five minute flash in the, flash in the pan detailed dive. So, Welcome to Deep Tech Dive. We're super excited to have you here and we certainly hope you enjoy some of the detailed uh, examinations of the products and services that we offer.